And here we go again. I wonder how many of us have been in a similar situation as I was when I was looking through my fonts list on the computer and I couldn't find the font I was looking for. I uh, couldn't remember what it was called either, which made matters worse. So I had to look through my my, my fonts list um, to see what fonts I'd got on my computer. Now, with this view, which is the view we get when we look at our fonts in the control panel, we get A, B, and G. Um, and it's, uh, well, that's helpful, and it shows us the style of font. Um, it doesn't actually show you complete sentences. It'll show you the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, etc. Uh, but sometimes that's just not enough because we want to see uh, maybe the particular swirls at, uh, on a card we might have seen, say a birthday card we might have seen. Um, we see the swirls on it. And I'm afraid that sometimes the what you see in front of you doesn't relate at all to what you're hoping for. Um, there's old script there, which is a very nice swirly font, but that is not the same as the one I saw on front of in the front of the birthday card. Um, having looked on the internet, I found a program called Font View OK. Now, I loaded it and had a look at it, and it seemed to fit the bill exactly. Um, this particular program uh, shows all the fonts in your font folder, and you can look at them as they are, you can italicize them, make them bold, etc. Um, and you can look through how they will look. Again, it shows your text ABC. Um, maybe that's not enough. Maybe we actually need to see the word Happy Birthday written down so that we can visualize it better. With this program, if I just highlight the top here, I can actually type in the word oops, Happy birthday and obviously that gives you a much better idea of the swirls that you're looking for um, we look through our entire list which could be in this case I believe it's about 266 um, just very quickly nip back and at the bottom here it will show 266 items those items do include a lot of uh, foreign fonts um, and different uh, fonts for different languages um, that are they're already pre-installed on your computer. Um, there's an Arabic there which I'm afraid, and no disrespect to the um, Arabic language at all, but I don't understand that at all. Um, but they're there anyway, and those are all part of the 266 items. Um, so we can ha we can nip back to our program, we can see what these prog these fonts look like, and more so we can see what they look like in the text that you've written up there, in this case Happy Birthday. We may see one that looks, there's one here, look, Happy Birthday, that's similar. That's Palace Script it's called, it's very similar. As is Old Script here, looks very, very similar, but it's not the same somehow. It's not the same as the one I was looking for. This program has one unique um, ability which if we say, well, here's old script, that's not quite what I was looking for, but it's similar to it. Now if I click on Happy Birthday here in the old script, up the top on this uh, left-hand pane, we have font old script, which is this one here, fonts like old script. And now this is a very handy button, because if we click on this button, It'll take us to the program manufacturer, his website, and in there he's got a search which we can actually search for fonts like Old Script. Now we can search it on a multiplicity of search engines, everything from eBay through to um, ZDNet, Yahoo, ViceND, Winload D, Wikipedia D, Wikipedia itself, a whole load of different ones. We're comfortable with Google. I think most people in the UK, most people in the world will understand Google. Uh, so we'll use that as our search engine. Um, and away we go. Don't worry if you can't speak German, it doesn't matter because um, it all translates into English anyway. Um, so we can look down the list. His images uh, for like old script. We can have a quick look in there if you wish. I find it a bit confusing because um, 
doesn't always work for me this one it might do for you so we'll show it anyway um, this one's called oh, Tripwire Magazine um, very nice swirly font very similar to the one I'm looking for however not the same so we can down here a thousand and one faults uh, fonts two can't say the word uh, thousand and one fonts so if we have a click on there right this shows us a whole load of fonts which may be of interest to us right so if we have a look at the uh, old English fonts we can look at calligraphy um, we can have a look at uh, regular bear in mind we're searching for um, Let's just go back and just check the search. We're looking for Old English fonts. Right. Old script is the actual name we're looking for. Let's try a different search engine if we're not happy. Now this one's found Old script, which it tells us at the bottom here it's in script, it's in calligraphy. So if we search the top bar here for script, which is at the end, and we click on calligraphy at the bottom, then this will take us into another page where it shows us very many in fact it shows us 1042 results of fonts very similar to the one we're looking for right renaissance there that is uh, that's a very nice looking font not quite the same however old script that's the one we've got and it's not the same as that and we can carry on looking through the pages however many there are until we find one that we like um, very many I really like that one that is nice what's that one called that's called cotillion um, and it's so simple to download all you have to do is click the button for download it will individualize it so you can just double check that that's the one you want cotillion is the one we want and we can download it that goes straight into our download folder which I'll shrink that down a second go into downloads and there it is there's cotillion um, we can extract it uh, cotillion there it is if I double click on it it will show us the usual the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dogs now that's uh, that's very nice it's a useful font we like that so we need to uh, click on the button at the top here of our fonts and inst install the font okay I've already got this one on my computer from an earlier session but there we are we've, in we've included that in we go back to the program and we need to refresh the page which is a little button on the top of the right hand panel there and then we can look for if we go to the C's R S T there it is happy birthday in cotillion now that is the one we're looking for um, this isn't terribly uh, difficult to do um, we can open up another package we'll say uh, Microsoft publisher um, we can create a little text block or if we're doing this on a birthday card or whatever it is we're creating I'll just make the font size a bit bigger so as we can see it clearer and we'll choose from the list we'll choose the cotillion um, there it is cotillion font and we can fill out our there it is I have it oh We'll have it centered and we can make it uh, by highlighting it we can make it bold and there is the font that we were looking for all set up on the computer now you can leave that there if you wish that the particular font installed um, so that you can use it at a later date or you can uninstall it uh, quite easily just by uh, opening up your fonts folder and finding the cotillion font there it is and if you don't like it simply hit the delete button and it will be gone um, 
it's as simple as that but we don't have to get rid of the source file that we saved uh, we could save that on a pen drive or on an, uh, another disk somewhere so we'll always have that cotillion now with this program this uh, font view OK at the top here we have another view which if we click on this font folder or oh, sorry from a folder um, we'll have a look at another folder here it's called new fonts in this case all these folders are still in their original um, folders that they've downloaded and I can actually look in the inside those so even if the fonts aren't installed on your computer you can still get a rough idea of the ones you have on another drive or backed up somewhere on a pen drive uh, just by selecting from a folder if I go to um, Oh, I've got it in there, right? Let's just zoom out again. Um, there's Cotillion in my downloads folder. What I'm going to do is put it into my other folder there, New Fonts. There it is. And then when I go back to the program, I can look from a folder. Bump. OK that. And I should have here somewhere Cotillion. And there it is. Uh, Cotillion regular and we can see exactly what one we can type a little line here uh, to see what it looks like written down and this is the program um, it's not difficult to use there's not a whole lot across the uh, the top file menu bars and all the rest of it it's very very um, basic in its use but it's so much fun to use and to see what fonts you have got um, we'll close that installed system fonts there we are that's the ones I have installed on my computer very easy to look at very pleasing and it's a good bit of housekeeping as well because if you see a lot of fonts that you're never ever going to use you can take them out um, Windows will cope with up to a thousand fonts with two gig of memory um, so they don't take up a whole lot of space uh, fun to use and it's very very clever the way it does its searches uh, happy birthday there oh, sorry not happy birthday it's called Brussels Russell white font true type font and we can click very simply to find other ones similar as I say I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration if you did enjoy it then click the thumbs up button on the bottom there um, please subscribe to my channel which is Howard L Hall on YouTube and uh, I hope you find all the fonts you're looking for Bye for now.